if you want to be a Karen, you have to impose your physicality on any situation. So your gestures have to be big and they have to be bold. It's all in the arms and the hands. Let's have a look at San Francisco, Karen. Your no, you, we but do. But not on people's property. Okay. Absolutely. Sure. Just respectfully. Sure. So we're just saying, absolutely, your signs and everything, and that's good. This is not, this is not the way to do it. Okay. It's private property. But if, there, if I did live here and it was my property, this would be absolutely fine. Okay. If it, and you if don't know there, if I live here or if this actually, is my property. We actually do know. That's why we're asking. Oh, really? Because yeah. you live here, right? You no, said so. because we know the person who does live here. Oh, Okay. So then um, I suggest you call him or call the, police, right, or, uh, call the police or because you're accusing me of a crime, correct? What I'm asking you is why are you and I'm not this? answering you. Okay, that's Just because you're shouting abuse at an Uber driver doesn't mean you can't use your hands. I didn't say anything. I don't know. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. I'm sorry. He it's apologized. My, it's my, it's your hands can be used to both intimidate and punctuate a sentence at the very same time. Sorry, but you're calling me a bitch. I'll oh, set, an, set an example. I'm sorry. My kids can't hear me calling you a bitch. Your window's open. They Don't forget this one last vital piece of advice. So I'd like to give a shout out and a big thank you to this woman here. Her name is Sister Pat. She's a head of the monastery. So anyway, I'm playing fetch with my 100 pound pit bull off leash on the monastery lawn, right? So anyway, when she come out, I'm like, oh shoot. She's going to tell me she's going to call animal control or the police if she see us here again. But no, what she does, she joins us in a game of fetch. Thank you, Sister Pat. You're a beautiful blessing.